Jesus now travels toward the coast, where the people aren't Jewish at all. The people who live here come from various Gentile or non-Jewish backgrounds. It'll be interesting to see how Jesus is received here. Jesus left that place and went to the vicinity of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know it, yet he could not keep his presence secret. In fact, as soon as she heard about him, a woman whose little daughter was possessed by an impure spirit came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, born in Syrian Phoenicia. She begged Jesus to drive the demon out of her daughter. First, let the children eat all they want, he told her, for it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Lord, she replied, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he told her, for such a reply, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. She went home and found her child lying on the bed and the demon gone. This woman wasn't Jewish. She was clearly a Gentile. And the way that Jesus treated this woman may seem strange to us. Why didn't he simply heal her daughter right away? It's because Jesus wanted to teach his own disciples an important lesson about his love and mercy. The disciples, like all Jews, believed that the blessings of God were principally for them and not to be shared with Gentiles. Jesus wanted to teach them otherwise. But first, in what he says to the woman, he mirrors the thoughts of the disciples. When Jesus said that it wasn't right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs, the disciples would have nodded and agreed. But this woman didn't give up. She recognizes her unworthiness and pleads for Christ's mercy. And so Jesus grants her the desire of her heart and heals her daughter. He wanted the disciples to see that this woman's faith was greater than that of their own fellow Jews. He also wanted to teach them that the blessings and mercy of God was for all, for everyone. Many people see Christian churches as being judgmental and exclusive. And that's one reason why there are many people who once used to go to church don't go anymore. But it shouldn't be like that. Jesus shows that his grace breaks through all human barriers. Prayerfully, think about your own attitudes to others. How do you judge others? What are the barriers that you have set up against others in your life?